Netscope Threat Protect for Web provides comprehensive threat defense with real-time, multi-layered threat detection and remediation. Netscope acts as a control point between your users and SaaS, IaaS, and web, and performs a real-time scan on all traffic going to and from the cloud and web. Netscope applies layered protection, including static and heuristic analysis, anomaly detection, machine learning, and sandboxing. Netscope Threat Protect uses multiple threat intelligence sources that are updated dynamically. Netscope Threat Protect for Web provides real-time protection against various strains of malware and ransomware being uploaded and downloaded from the web. Malware is blocked and users are alerted with custom coaching messages. Netscope Threat Protect for Web identifies and blocks malicious websites, protecting your users and your data from infection. Let's set up an inline policy and select Risky Sites as the category. We will choose All Activities and select Block as the action to take. Now with this policy in place, when a user attempts to visit a malicious website, they are blocked and protected against potential infection. Netscope Threat Protect detects anomalous behavior in real time that could indicate the presence of an active threat such as account hijacking or simply malicious behavior from an insider. Here is an example of a user that performed a rare activity. In this case, it looks like the user is always connected from a specific source network in the U.S. and all of the sudden connected from a new source location in the Czech Republic, an activity never seen before by this user. It could simply be that this user is traveling, or perhaps their user credentials have been compromised. Probably a good idea to force this user to change their credentials and force a two-factor authentication. The Malware Dashboard provides a consolidated view of threat-related incidents, including the types of malware detected, users and files affected, and the ability to do a deep analysis using a cloud sandbox. It looks like we have had malware discovered in the last 24 hours. Let's click on one of these to investigate further. This particular malware is a Trojan, and here we see the user affected. If we click on the file name, we can dive into additional details given the comprehensive deep analysis performed by Netscope Threat Protect. Here we see a summary that includes the MD5 and SHA-256 associated with this malware, the number of users affected, and the engines that detected this malware. Scrolling down, we are presented with results of the heuristics analysis. This includes details of the file, network references, and key capabilities tied to the malware. We also get a view into the indicators of compromise, from references to file extensions, to HTML scripts, to execution activities. The malware dashboard also provides details of the observed behavior resulting from detonation in Netscope's Cloud Sandbox. Here we see behavior attributed across file system, browser, network, and more. As part of the sandbox detonation, screenshots are also provided to help during the investigation. Here we can cycle through the screenshots to drill down into details to help round out the investigation. You also get a flowchart view of the processes that were monitored during the malware detonation. Lastly, a map is provided that contains the location of any hosts that were accessed. It looks like this malware access hosts in both Romania and Germany. This is obviously malware we want to prevent from infiltrating our environment. 